Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will do finding the equation of a line given two points. So we have different methods on how to find the equation of a line. Depend siya sa mga given information, kung ano yung available. So this time, we will do how to find the equation of a linear equation in two variables given yung coordinates ng dalawang points. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a formula na magamit natin in finding the equation of a line if the given or the coordinates of two points of any line of any linear equation. So we have here y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Actually, this one is derived from the point slope form. Okay? So as you can see, this one uh, is equivalent to your m. That's why this form is from the point slope form. So let's start with the first problem. Find the equation of the line given 1, negative 3 and 4, 5. Express your answer in slope intercept and standard form. So as you can see in that problem, we are given the coordinates of two points of a straight line. So basically, what I'm doing here, so you need to copy the formula first. Your formula is y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. And then after that, ang ginagawa ko, tinuturo ko sa mas dyante ko, ito ha. Ito kasi, uh, for you to master this kind of skill, kailangan ma-memorize mo muna yung steps. After that, ilalagay ko rito yung aking given coordinates. I have 1 and negative 3 for the first point, And the other is 4, 5. Tapos, kung mapansin nyo, di ba? You have y sub 1. You have y sub 2 y sub 1, x sub 1, and x sub 2 within our formula. Ang mangyari dyan is we need to put label sa mga coordinates natin. Since ito yung first point natin, this will be your x sub 1. Siyempre, ito naman si y sub 1. And itong sumunod naman, this is your x sub 2. Ito naman si y sub 2. So after that, you need to substitute those values sa ating formula. Okay? So, try natin, ha? So, una, copy natin yung y. Tapos, minus y sub 1. Ang y sub 1 natin is negative 3. So, step by step, huwag muna natin madaliin. Pag negative, i-enclose natin by parenthesis. Kasi later on, we will multiply it. And then, is equal to your y sub 2, which is 5. Minus, your y sub 1 is negative 3. So, in-close ulit natin sa parenthesis. All over x sub 2 is 4. Minus your x sub 1 is 1. So, minus 1 natin kasi positive naman siya. Times, dito na tayo sa part na to. You have your x minus your x sub 1 which is 1. Okay? So, sir, bakit wala tayong pinalit sa, ano, sa y sa x natin? Kasi... So, may matitirang variable para sa ating linear equation in two variables na makakuha natin later. Okay? So, simplify natin itong part na to. Sa part na yan, you need to multiply the signs. So, negative times negative, it will give you positive. So, you can have this as y plus 3. At ito, ang pinaka-advice ko lang dito is for you to be careful sa mga sign. Kasi yun ang karaniming ang naging mali ng mga sudyante yung nag-solve ng ganitong problem. So, dito naman sa part na to, sa numerator, negative times negative is positive. So, you have 5 plus 3 over 4 minus 1. It will give you 3. Then, times x minus 1. Okay? So, yung iba, ang ginagawa nila rito, tiyatanggal nila yung in-eliminate. Ano, sim simplify muna natin to, ha? 
So y plus 3 is equal to 8 over 3 times x minus 1. So kung mapansin nyo, di ba may fraction yun naman? So normally, pag-isipin nyo pag may fraction, ang una nyo isipin is you need to eliminate the denominator. So to, imi to eliminate the denominator, ang gawin natin is mag-multiply tayo sa buong equation natin ng 3. Ang 3. So mangyari dito, pag multiply natin to dito, magiging 3 times y plus 3, mamaya natin simplify. At dito naman, pag multiply natin to dito, may eliminate yung ating barrier, yung ating denominator. Magiging equals to 8 times x minus 1 na lang siya. Distributive property, you have 3y. Ito naman magiging plus 9. As equal to ito na magiging 8x. This one is your minus 8. Okay? So may, may space pa ba tayo? May space pa naman tayo. And then, balikan natin yung problem natin before natin simplify yan. Sabi, standard form. I slope intercept form sa standard form. So dalawang gagawin natin. You need to create y is equal to mx plus b. At yun naman, isa naman ay ax plus by is equal to c. So una, dito muna tayo. sa ating um, slope-intercept form. Transpose natin sa kabila ito, magiging 3y is equal to 8x minus 8 minus 9. Kasi positive siya, di ba? Simplify natin itong dalawang to, It will give you 3y is equal to 8x minus 17. And then, para maging y na lang itong side na to, divided by 3, divided by 3. By the way, meron tayong video about our writing equations from standard form to slope-intercept form. Meron din tayong from standard, from slope-intercept form to standard form. Cancel natin to. So you have y is equal to 8x minus 17 over 3. So ito na yung ating slope-intercept form. Kaya pwede naman siya maging ano, y is equal to 8x over 3 minus 17 over 3. And then, ito naman tayo. Focus tayo sa standard form. So, dito, if you have 3y plus 9 is equal to 8x minus 8. So, ang ganyan dito, transpose nyo lang siguro itong ano dito. Yung y9 transpose natin. At itong negative 8 sa kabila. So, hindi so, hindi lang natin na Yung 3y transpose natin sa kanan, it will become 8x minus 3y. Ito namang negative 8 natin, transpose natin sa left side, it will become 9 plus 8. Kasi negative 8 yan eh. Simplify natin, this will give you 17 is equal to 8x minus 3y. Pero, sir, but ganun? yung constant sa left or yung tapos yung ating x term sa y term minus sa right side. Pares lang naman yun. Standard form na yun. But, by reflexive property, we can rewrite it as 8x minus 3y is equal to 17. This is the standard form of problem number 1. Now, for our next example, so, syempre, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, we need to memorize the formula y minus y sub 1 is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x minus x sub 1. Ito yung ating two point form. So, we have here the coordinates as 0, negative 3, tapos 4, comma 0. Assign natin, this is your x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, next natin, substitute the values of those variable y minus your y sub 1, which is negative 3. So, in two solid sa parentheses, is equal to your y sub 2, which is 0, minus negative 3 ulit, over 
Her x sub 2 is 4 minus her x sub 1, which is 0, times x minus yung yung x sub 1, which is 0. Simplify natin. This is y plus 3 is equal to, ito naman magiging positive. Or magiging 3 na lang kasi negative times negative over 4. Kasi ang 4 minus 0 ay 4. Times x. Kasi 0 yung isa. Then after that, i-multiply natin yung buong equation by 4. Para may limit natin itong denominator na to. So you have 4 times y plus 3 is equal to cancel natin to magiging 3x na lang. The left side natin, this is 4y plus 12 is equal to 3x. So paano nangyari yung ano na lang? 4y plus 12. So this is 4 times y, 4y. 4 times 3, that will give you 12. Continue natin. So we have this na. Pero sabi doon kanina, di ba, you need to rewrite re your final equation in y is equal to mx plus b. So para sa form na to, transpose natin sa kabila ito, magiging 4y is equal to 3x minus 12. Tapos may kasama pang 4, di ba? Divided by 4. Cancel. So you have y is equal to 3x minus 12 over 4. Or pwede rin naman siyang or pwede natin gawing y is equal to 3x over 4 minus 3. Kasi negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So kahit na sa dalawang to pwede. Now for the second one, gawin natin standard form ax plus by is equal to c. So, copy muna natin yun. So, 4y plus 12 is equal to 3x. Ito transpose natin sa kabila. So, magiging 12 is equal to 3x minus 4y. So, as you can see, okay na siya. May reflexive property. May reflexive property. Pwede na siyang gawing 3x minus 4y is equal to 12. This is the standard form of the second problem. So I hope na sa ating dalawang examples ay you already know how to use two point form in finding the equation of a line given yung coordinates ng dalawang points. Now, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit na rin yung bell button para updated na sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gone. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.